Can a team of Premier League managers win the Champions League? Interesting. Hey, what's up, going on? And yes, we're back with another Creative Club Challenge on a Tuesday. Before we get anywhere near started, I just want to thank you guys so much for the support recently. Obviously, a huge shout out to Maxwell for giving me that shout out in his channel. Without him, we probably wouldn't have this much many viewers. So, hello, new viewers. My name is Edgar. I do FIFA content every day. Well, not every day. I try my best to upload every single day. But with school starting, it may slow down a little bit. But I'm going to try my best so it doesn't slow down. Anyways, welcome to the channel. I hope you guys do enjoy the content that I have for you. I promise I have a lot of ideas and I'm not going to become dull. At the time of recording, we currently have 920 subscribers. 80 more only for 1K. And that has been the goal, boys. So if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure to subscribe if you can, if you guys do enjoy. But anyways, with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So welcome back to a Creator Club Challenge where basically I come up with an idea every week. And I put the idea into a Creator Club wow how original so in today's video we have the 20 premier league managers in a team can they win the champions league though that is the question we're going to answer today so as per usual you guys do not care about this i'm just gonna go ahead and brainstorm a little bit okay as for the name we do have gaffers fc pretty much pretty simple we have cheers jeff cheers jeff as the t nickname i don't know why we don't even go into a game in these videos but we have gaff as a short name and abbreviation we have gfc so there's gonna be a lot of inception in this video obviously putting them in the premier league other Premier League managers are in this team, so they're going to be managing their own club while being part of this team. So we're going to get rid of Burnley. Burnley are the most boring club in the Premier League. As for the kids in the badges, I found it very difficult to come up with an idea. So I went for something very simple and very sophisticated, like all of these managers are, as most of them are above 40 years old. So we went for a simple black Puma kit, a simple black and white Puma kit, and then we have a badge that's just black, man. There's really nothing I can do else. And today, Gaffers FC are going to replace... Let's replace Liverpool in this journey, okay? So the Gaffers are going to be part of Group B, which is a very difficult group, probably the group of death this year. Okay, boys, here is a squad of Premier League managers. Something to clear up, though, real quick. For some reason, every time I try to create Graham Potter or David Moyes into the game, it didn't work. So we're going to have them as McGregor and Chiria in this video. But they still have their mini face here. And they have their in-game face actually. Okay, I know at current there's only 20 Premier League managers. As of Benny, this just got sacked. But he is the most recent. So I have left them in this video. So, by the way, a little disclaimer. A lot of these positions are not their actual position. Because I've noticed a little trend that goes on. Either all managers right now are midfielders or they are defenders. So, I moved a couple players around and the rating is not based on their playing career it's based on in my opinion their managerial status and how good they are so Rafa Benitez I have made him the lowest I know he's a managerial legend but at the moment he isn't what he is what he used to be actually so we have made him 84 rating tied for the lowest with a couple of other players like I said he has just been sacked by Everton surely so I think it is fair because he's been doing pretty bad but an 84 rating for Benitez should suffice but Ranieri Hey, you are sleeping. Come on. Probably the worst manager at the moment in form. Not in class. We know how Ranieri has been good in the past. He's 84 rating, playing as a center mid as well. Benitez is also a CDM. So both midfielders, like I said, a lot of these players are either defenders or midfielders when they were players. But I've had to mess with a couple players to make it a little bit more interesting. Moving on to the bench, we have Marcelo Bielsa. <laughs> 87 rated, a very good manager indeed. Even though leads are not too hot right now, I know recently they've been picking up form. We have put him in 87, one of the better managers in the squad. Thomas Frank is a second choice goalkeeper. Yes, Thomas Frank, I have made him into a goalkeeper. I know he was not a goalkeeper in his playing days, but he's probably as well as the same level as Ranieri and Benitez. I know Benitez and Ranieri have more ped pedigree, but at the moment, Thos Thomas Frank is the same or even a little bit better than them right now. So an 84 rating should be pretty well. As Hudo, my manager, our Southampton manager. I keep going the wrong way, man. Southampton manager. 84 as well. He is a very good manager, but at the moment hasn't led Southampton to glory in any kind of way. But in my opinion, it's not his fault. It's the club's fault. However, a takeover just has occurred at Southampton. So hopefully, hasn't heard a place to stay. Because if he leaves, I don't think we can get anyone better than him. And on the opposite side of the wing, for the bench, we have Bruno Large. Don't know too much about this guy. I know he's doing really well, but he's still very young. and still very early into his managerial career. So an 84 should be decent. Dean Smith, the new Norwich manager, I think is slightly better than Bruno Large and the rest of the 84s. He is a very good manager. Obviously, he is very judged by the his time at Aston Villa this season. Obviously, has joined Norwich and has done really well with Norwich so far. They'll probably still relegate, but Dean Smith is doing his best. Patrick Vieira, obviously one of the best players in the Premier League of all time. But as a manager, just started off and is doing really, really well for Crystal Palace. So, I think an 84 is very, very fair considering a lot of these players, a lot of these managers have their pedigrees like Benitez and Ranieri. I don't think it would be fair to have them higher than them. John Dyke is... He's a really good manager, but compared to the other managers, he is not considered the best. So an 85 as a center back, which I think is absolute class. Sean Dyke as a center back would be absolutely disgusting. But an 85 should be very, very good for him. He might leave Burnley at the end of the season if they do relegate. So it might be a time coming for an end. Sean Dyke at Burnley. In goal, we have Brendan Rodgers, probably the fourth 
fifth best Premier League manager at the moment. We have made him a goalkeeper as well. Like I said, a lot of these managers' positions are random just because, I don't know, it's just what came to my mind. So, 88, the fourth or fifth best player in this side. Moving on to our right back, it is Eddie Howe. Eddie Howe strikes me as a fullback. I know in his playing career, he may not have been a fullback, but he just strikes me like that. Obviously, a lot of people do judge him that he isn't a very good manager because of Newcastle right now, but people do forget what he did with his Bournemouth side, man. Obviously, took him all the way to the Prem and did really well at the Prem for a while, eventually getting relegated. So an 85 should be a fair rating. FIFA, for some reason, did not let me create Graham Potter. So we have a match Chioria here, but it is Graham Potter. 86 rating. I think he's slightly better than Eddie Howe, giving him an 86 rating. Starting with our first center back in our center back pairing, we have Antonio Conte. Uh, I prefer to kill him. Obviously, the manager at Spurs. 89, probably the fourth best manager in my opinion. Just because it's my opinion does not mean it's correct. Antonio Conte was struggling at the beginning with Tottenham, but I think little by little, day by day, he is getting better there. And our second center back and our third best manager, in my opinion, in the Premier League, just because he hasn't been here long enough, and I know his recent form hasn't been the best, we have Thomas Tuchel. Thomas Tuchel obviously came into that Chelsea side and won in the Champions League. Don't get mad at Chelsea fans, I know he's 90 rated, not the best in the side, but he still needs his time in the Premier League to prove himself. Moving on to our first CDM, in our CDM pairing, it is Mikel Arteta. It is what it is. Oh. It is what it is. So I know Mikel Arteta is relatively new to the managerial career, but he's done really well for Arsenal so far, and he's learned under the best in Pep Guardiola, so an 86 rating is pretty fair for me. Moving on to, in my opinion, the best manager in the Premier League at the moment is Pep Guardiola, and I know a lot of you club fans are saying that he's better. I think Guardiola is better because he's been doing it for a very long time, not just in the Premier League, but in total, has won many, many titles. I know Klopp has as well, but Guardiola is a little bit older, has a little bit more experience, and I think that's why he is a little bit more superior. Moving on to the camp position, Gerard would probably be the highest rating if this was based on playing career. Gerard is only an 86. I know that's maybe a little bit overrated, but I think what he's done for Rangers winning a league title is very crucial in his first manager job and obviously moving to Aston Villa. The Aston Villa side has already changed, so it's still early days, so hopefully he can continue this form and hopefully this 86 rating isn't incorrect. Moving on to our left wing is a very controversial one as well. We have Ralph Ragnick. So, sporting director wise, probably the best in the world. However, as a manager, still not yet too much proven. I know what's going on at my United is not his fault right now. I'm not blaming him. I don't hate on him whatsoever because what is going on at the club is not his fault. He does not have the right players to work in his system. However, I do have to give him credit for his pass in the players he signed. It fits into a managerial, so I've given him an 88. And moving on to the second best Premier League manager, in my opinion, it is Jurgen Klopp. I'm actually a Jurgen Klopp fan because I love the fact how he treats his players, man. He absolutely loves his players. Guardiola does as well, but Klopp shows a little bit more passion, and I do admire that. We have made him a 92, same as Guardiola, to stop any hate, any diversity in the comments. 92, but in my opinion, I'd probably play under Guardiola if I wanted to become a better player. But for have a managerial connection, a love connection with a person, not in that way, just to have like, I guess, a brotherhood type of thing or a fatherhood type of thing, I would play under club. Finally, up top, we have Mr. David Moyes. Like I said, FIFA would not let us use him for some reason. It kept glitching out. I tried for like an hour or two hours. The game kept glitching out. So we have to have him as under McGregor. I basically have the creator club feature with all these players. I just replaced their faces and stuff and just put David Moyes. I just can't change his name for some reason. That's how the cheat engine works. But 87, man, very underrated manager. Obviously in the past wasn't the best, but his time at Everton was really good. And now his time at West Ham is proving to be really amazing. That is the Premier League manager side. It's time to see if they can win the Champions League. And because I always forget to show them at the start of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and show them here. So a lot of these players had faces. All I had to do was put their face ID into the cheat engine and put them in players. However, some players had to be created. So I'm just gonna scroll through so you guys can see. Thomas Tuchel, for some reason, doesn't have a face, at least in the IDs that I did research. So I created him myself. This time I used some videos to see, and this looks this looks like Thomas Tuchel. So shout out to the guy who made the video. This looks like Thomas Tuchel, like a lot. Antonio Conte had a face, Rogers had a face as well. Let me just scroll down. Ragnick did not have a face in game. This looks a lot like him, man. If I could put glasses into his face, it would look perfectly like him. David Moyes as well, he does have a face and it looks like David Moyes. Moving on, Bielsa did not have a face by the way, I have created that face as well using a video and it looks like him a lot. Graham Potter, Mikel Arteta, Steven Gerrard, Eddie Howe, Sean Dyke, Dean Smith, all had a face. Not Connie Ranieri, this is probably the one I'm most disappointed on. I watched the video twice and I couldn't just get it perfect, so I'm sorry Ranieri if I batted you. Rafa Benitez had a face, Patrick Vieira had a face, Bruno Large, Hassan Hudo and Thomas Frank did not have a face. So all of these had a face, Thomas Frank did not. And I, look, I think that looks like him, but I think the one I'm most proud of is probably the Vieira one. Vieira looks exactly like the same, 
but he doesn't have a face. I had to make it myself using a video, but I'm really pleased with the result. Those are the players. It's time for you guys to leave your predictions down below. Do you think the Gaffers FC, the managers of the Premier League, can they win the Champions League? Or can they even win the Premier League? Leave your predictions down below in the comments. And like I said, shout out to Maxwell again for the shout out. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. Maybe by the time this video is uploaded, we will reach a thousand subscribers, which is something I never thought I'd reach in my life. But anyways, leave your predictions down below if we're going to win any trophies or who the top scorer is going to be. Okay, boys, we have reached the end of the season. It's time to find out. Can a team full of Premier League managers win a Champions League? These managers can lead their teams into victories, but can they do it as players themselves? Okay, we always start from the bottom because we've noticed that our sides can actually do pretty well in the league, considering that we have them high rated. But still, they always do well in the league. Okay, let's scroll up. I believe they're top eight. No chance. Top eight. Man City finished in eighth. I think they could have won the league. If Man, Man City always wins the league in these challenges, if we don't. So, are they top five? They're top five, boys. Are they in fourth place? Okay, Chelsea finished fourth. Were they in third place? Third place, Everton. Second place? It's time. The Gaffers FC win the Premier League title. And they've done it, boys. Gaffers FC has won the Premier League title. But we must stop the music there. The whole point of the video is to see if they can win the Champions League. How about the FA Cup though? Did they win the FA Cup? No, they lost in... If they not reach their round of 16. Okay, they lost to my United in the round of 32, I do believe. Carabao Cup, how did they do? And they won. Gaffers FC have picked up a double. Can they pick up the treble though? Okay, boys, it's time to find out. Can Gaffers FC, a team full of Premier League managers, pass through the group stages of the Champions League? And yes, they have 10 points tied to second, but one in goal difference. Okay, after getting out the toughest group in the UCL this season, did they win in the round of 16? And... Where are they? They beat Wolfsburg on penalties 5-4, time 5-5 in aggregate. Absolutely scenes. How about the quarterfinals? They beat, oh my god, they beat Atletico on penalties as well. 4-3, 3-3 in stoppage. Come on, not stoppage, I mean penalties. Semifinals. We always get stuck in the semifinals. In all of these videos, we never reach past the semifinals. We have never won a Champions League in this Creator Club Challenge. Can this be the first time we reach the final though? And they lost to Inter Milan, who eventually won the Champions League, boys. Come on, gaffers. Okay, taking a look at the squad to see if anyone grew. Ragnik has grown to a 90. David Moyes stayed the same. Klopp stayed the same. Gerard went up to an 88. Guardiola also stayed the same. Arteta has gone up a plus one to an 87. Eddie Howe has gone up a plus two, I do believe, to an 87. Conte a plus two to a 91. Tuchu a plus two as well for a 92. Uh, I'll say Siora. Graham Potter has gone up a plus one, I think it was. Sean Dyke has gone up a plus one. Vieira a plus one. Dean Smith a plus two. One or two, I do believe. Bruno Large, a plus one. Hassan Hudo, a plus one. Thomas Frank, a plus one. Viosa, a plus one. Ranieri and Benitez, a plus one as well. So, pretty steady growth, a plus one or plus two for each player. Okay, boys, it's time to see who got top goal scorer. Leave down your predictions down below. And top appearance maker was Klopp and McGregor, which is David Moyes. I see the name and I get confused. With 61 appearances, top goal scorer was Graham Potter at left back. 35 <laughs> First of all, the game wouldn't even let me put his name for some reason. And now, as a different name, same face, scores 35 goals at left back, man. This is absolutely insane. David, Mo David, Mo the both players that broke the game every time I tried to put them in got top goal scorers. David Moore scoring 31, and behind them is Steven Jarrett with 17, and Jurgen Klopp with 11, and the rest scoring less than 10. Assist wise, Graham Potter, man. What? As a left back, 18 assists and 35 goals. That's 50 plus goal contributions for a left back, man. That is absolutely insane. Club with 16, David Moyes with 10 assists, and Ralph Ragnick with 10 assists. As for clean sheets, it was Steven Gerrard, but the goalkeeper, Brendan Rodgers with 10. And where's Thomas Frank? He only achieved... Uh, did, he not did he not play a single game? Did Thomas Frank not play a single game, boys? I think he didn't. He played two games, keeping zero clean sheets. Who else played no games other than Thomas Frank? Let's go ahead and check. Let's go up the list. Let's go down the list, in fact. It's better to go down the list. Obviously, these players still got game time because squad death. Ranieri only got seven games. Dean Smith with 12 games and Hasan Hodo and Benitez and large below 20. So that is worrying. But our side still did well. I cannot believe Graham Potter at left back got 35 goals, man. But anyways, that is the end of today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button and click the subscribe button. We're so close, at least at the time of recording, to 1K. By the time this video comes out, we might even be at 1K. Shout out to Maxwell once again. Thank you for the shout out. By the way, you guys should definitely check out Maxwell's content. I know a lot of you guys who watch my channel are very career mode based. He used to be a career mode YouTuber, has moved to like journalism, talks about football. And to be honest, I really do enjoy his videos. Like that's not even saying that because he shouted me out. Before that, I really enjoyed his video. He's had a huge jump up from 2021 to 2022, now being at 43K. He doesn't need the shout out from me. I'm just giving it to him because in honesty, 
He's probably one of my favorite YouTubers at the moment. Not my favorite. I've mentioned in this channel before that the Sideman is my favorite YouTube channel. But I don't want to get out of topic. Basically, go check out Macwell, man. He will be in the link in the description. If you guys have any more ideas, and I know I talked really fast in the last bit. If you guys have any more ideas, though, leave them down in the comments. If you guys don't have any ideas for a creator club, I have plenty, man. I have like seven videos ready just in case you guys don't have any ideas. That's what I do. If you guys don't leave any ideas, I have videos planned. But if you guys have any ideas, I will leave my videos to the side and put yours first. Anyways, thank you for all the new viewers for subscribing and liking and even viewing this video. Make sure to always do the things that you love, the things that make you happy, and just be yourself, man. It's been your boy, Edgar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day, and chamos.